what's the main idea for proportions? I want you to write it start to finish. Don't misspell anything. Type it out and hit enter. What did we say the main idea for proportions was? Compare the same things in the same way. Not same thing, same things, plural. Because you're comparing sets of ratios. Compare the same thing in the same way. And I know for a fact some of us are not going to exactly feel what that means, but I'm going to prove it to you very simply put. Let's be real, my Hasbat party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So, sounds good. Let's go ahead and start by solving this question. My party people, let's start with the question sentence itself. What are we looking for? Again, what are we looking for? Here's the question sentence, but what's the goal, everybody? What are we trying to find? What are we trying to find? Who knows? Who can put it for me simply? What are we trying to find here? How many questions would he have needed, would he needed to have solved? Correctly to receive a mark of 80%. How many questions? That's what happened. There we go. Perfect. So how many questions would he needed to have answered correctly to receive a mark of 80%? There we go. Much better. Yeah. The number of questions that we would need to solve to receive an 80%. So again, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Let's write that down. What we're looking for here is again, blank questions. Let me just actually correct the sizing of this. So we would need blank questions questions for 80 percent everyone is that okay with you is that okay with you writing it out like that expressing it like that does that make sense okay great so next up let's go ahead and see what information we're given to see what's going on so here in blue we see that after correctly answering five questions on the test, Mark received a mark of 20%. Okay, sounds good. So let's write that out. So we can say that five questions, five questions correct, that'll give you 20%. Not very great, but that's the fact of the matter. So my party people, uh, let's zoom in here. Do we see how we're making comparisons? Do we see how on one hand at the top, blank questions, that's 80%. Here we see five questions, that's 20%. Do we see the comparison between the number of questions correct and the percent correct? Do we see that relationship? And that's what we mean. Again, as long as we're comparing the same things, again, the number of questions that corresponds to the percent correct, number of questions that corresponds to the percent correct. As long as you see that you're comparing, comparing the same things in the same way, you can set up a proportion and you're good. So watch right over here. We're gonna set this up here. And I'm just gonna say, you know, X questions. And so notice that we'll have X questions correct, giving us 80%. And we can compare that to five questions correct, being 20%. Everyone, do we see that, again, in this proportion, we're comparing the same things in the same way. Number of questions correct up top, the percent correct on the bottom. Perfect. Perfect. That's the idea. That's the idea of today's class. The idea of today's class is that if you're trying to complete a proportion question that somehow involves percents, or you don't even know that there's a proportion attached to it, if there's a percent in there, you could use a proportion. You could. As long as you're comparing the amount to its percent the same way both times, you're fine. So there we are. 
And my party people, typically, what's the way that you're taught to solve proportions? What's, what's the typical way called? Cross multiply. And simplify or divide is what I would go with. But yeah, just cross multiply and divide and we have ourselves a party. So here we go. We'll go ahead and go with x times 20. That'll end up being 20x. And then we have 80 multiplied by 5. Hit me, my party people. 80 times 5 is what? 400. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. And now from here, what are we going to do to both sides? That's right. We're going to divide both sides by what? By 20. By 20. So we divide both sides by 20, allowing us to cancel the 20 out here, leaving us with a final answer of x equals 20. We just 400 divided by 20 will be 20. And there we are right here. Yeah, Damien, you could. Exactly. So my party people, yes or no? How much, or on a scale of one to 10, how much sense did this make with 10 being all the sense in the world? How much sense did that make? Right? Definitely a lot easier than you might think, right? Definitely a lot easier than you might think. Obviously, we would love some more practice. We would love more practice. We're going to have plenty of that today. And I'm also going to mix in some percent questions that you have seen in the program. And I'm going to show you how those same questions can be solved using percent or proportions. I keep mixing them up. But here we go. Um, one more thing to point out is when you have convenient numbers given to you, when you can actually identify the comparison like this, everybody, with multiplication, how do I go from 20% to 80%? What do I multiply 20 by to get 80? Right, we would multiply by 4. Thank you, Sherm. We would multiply by 4. Now, check this out, my party people. What's uh, 5 multiplied by 4? 20. There's your answer right there. So if you notice that you can compare the same things in the same way, that's how proportions really work. That's exactly how they work. And I can show you again right here. If I'm comparing from percent to percent, that's times four. Then from questions to questions, bottom to top, times four. Again, compare the same things in the same way and you're fine. So because you're here at the end of this video, I can probably assume that you're interested in more ASVAB help. And if you are, then go ahead and try my full program for free for a full week before you end up making a purchase. That way, you can see exactly how it works and exactly how it's going to help you succeed. To get started, go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or scan the QR code right there. Follow those directions and let's ace the ASVAB.